I have been looking for the answer to this Elementor table of contents sticky hack forever and I could not find the answer. I finally figured it out on my own and I'm so happy to share it with you today. In hindsight, I kind of feel dumb that I didn't know it, but now I do and we can move on. But I'm sure that I'm not the only person that is looking for the answer to this. So I hope you find this video helpful. All right, so the problem that we're going to solve today is right here. So as you can see, when I scroll down, I'm losing the table of contents header. This is staying sticky. Let's scroll all the way down and it stops right here. But um, I want to be able to actually see the table of contents header at the top because it's kind of awkward that it's hidden. So let me show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit with Elementor. All right. So all I need to do to fix this problem is select the section. In this case, I'm using an intersection. I'm going to select advanced motion effects and then I'm going to make sure that the top sticky is on. So that's what we have currently. Now, what I need to do is I need to set an offset. And I believe 120 should do the trick. So when I scroll down now, I'm able to see the entire table of contents. So that's the fix, 120. Your offset will depend on your header, but you can just adjust it and play with it. Now, keep in mind, if your header isn't sticky, meaning as I scroll, if you're not seeing this on your website, then you wouldn't need the offset. You can just have the offset be zero or maybe 10 to give it a little bit of room. But in theory, your header wouldn't be there. So um, the offset's only needed if you have a sticky header as well. Now, for this implementation, I am using the Elementor Table of Contents widget that's available in Elementor Pro, which at the time of this recording costs $50 a year. This capability does work on other Table of Contents widgets. All you would need to do is put your widget within an intersection like I have here. So as you can see, I have an intersection and then I have the widget and you'll just apply your sticky offset to the intersection as opposed to the widget, which may not offer that capability. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.